New information is still unfolding from yesterday's federal raids on two local businesses, Pizza Daddy and Midamar. Agents say those locations were being used to illegally ship hundreds of weapons and ammunition to Lebanon. Court documents say the suspects arrested bought many of their guns from local shops. Many are questioning how they were able to buy so many guns without suspicion. Fox 28 News reporter Dora Miller spoke to one gun shop about the laws that back them. Dora. It's important to note that gun shops selling guns, that's not illegal. Anyone with proper documentation can get one. It's what people do with after the guns, that's what is the questionable legalities. There's not a lot of difficulty that goes into purchasing a gun. According to gun shop owner Ernie Traw, the law is simple. All that matters legally is that you have a purchase permit and you have a valid driver's license with your current address that proves you live in Iowa. Traw owns Cedar Valley Outfitters in Marion, and for 14 years, he's had the right to turn people away. I can absolutely tell anyone I won't sell you a gun, but as you can imagine this day and age, I better have a good reason. Michael Giroux, a manager at Ammo Bearer in Iowa City, says three of the suspects shopped in his store in the past 15 months. He says in his gut, something was suspicious. They paid in cash and ordered guns his customers don't usually ask for. They had a purchase permit from the sheriff. Um, they had an ID. They filled out my paperwork. If I start profiling people, as the public would call it, saying, well, didn't it strike you funny that somebody would buy so many guns. That's, that goes to show the general public doesn't realize that there's tons of people that live in this town that buy the, that many guns and spend that much money that don't have any ill intent whatsoever. This recent federal investigation has raised many questions about the law, but Tra says no one can control what happens once a person leaves their store. You're not going to find a single dealer that isn't all about the full extent of the law coming down on those people. The difference is, is what they did buying the guns wasn't illegal as they did it, it's what they chose to do with them afterwards. Court documents show 6,800 rounds of ammunition were seized. Now, we checked and that's not against the law. Actually, you can purchase any amount of ammunition. Dora Miller, Fox 28 News.